In this demo, I'm going to show you how Prometheus and Grafana could be really handy tools from the observability point of view and for setting up service level indicators, etc., that we speak about in SRE practices. Now, this is my application here. This is called as a book info application. And I am just trying to access this and I've set it up to be refreshed automatically using a browser plugin. The reason for that is when I start monitoring, I want to generate some traffic. And this is my way of generating a little bit of a traffic here. And what you see now is the UI and the dashboard for Prometheus. And from here, you can, you know, find out uh, or cho choose a specific metric. In this case, uh, I've selected one metric. And if I execute uh, the query for it, I can see the data for that metric collected by Prometheus over a period of time. So what I was doing just before uh, showing you this graph was tweaking the interval, the time intervals. And, you know, you can see the data, uh, data graphs here. And uh, these data points have been generated uh, for maybe, you know, multiple services. And that's why you see those many lines of data in this graph for one particular metric for multiple services or multiple entities over the period of six hours. And this is a data collected for specific services. And uh, I'm using a platform called as Istio. It's a, it's a service mesh. And that is what is feeding in this data to Prometheus right now. And I can slice that data by using a query language uh, similar to what you see in that box right now. So I just selected a particular metric and I started narrowing down and slicing it based on a particular service. I can also select further and uh, say that slide it further and say I want to find out only for a service with this, this particular version that is v2. And now I see a very specific data. Earlier, I believe it was for multiple service versions. And that's why there were multiple lines in that chart. And these are all the metrics that, you know, have been collected and been stored in Prometheus. Prometheus is a time series database. And you can even though if you notice right now, uh, even though you can see the chart, it's not a very intuitive and uh, nice visual service that you have. And that's when we use this particular service, which is called as Grafana. Grafana, what you see, the data comes from Prometheus. But if you notice, it's much nicer. And you can see a one dashboard with multiple data points here. You can create your own custom dashboards. You can use a bunch of dashboards which are predefined. And this is very useful for you to get a big picture overview of your cluster, as well as, you know, slice it into the services and plot different types of data using different types of visual widgets. And that is the speciality of Grafana, the one you see right now. The data has not been collected by Grafana. Grafana is just a visualizer. It connects to the Prometheus instance that I showed you earlier. And then it only thing that it does is plot the data. And what I'm looking at here are the metrics for different types of services. And I can choose the interval. Let's say I want to see the data for last 24 hours, last five minutes, last 15 minutes. I can also set the refresh interval for this data so that it, in, uh, let's say, refreshes fi in five seconds now that's what I've set it to so every five seconds you should see this graph being refreshed it just happened now right so if you keep on observing yeah it just refreshed now and it will keep on refreshing this and this is something you can uh, plot on a, or put it on a big screen in your office and everybody can look at the data um, it's, it's visible to you and you can plot different types of metrics here. It could be application related data. It could be your business information. Any metrics that you can collect and store in Prometheus could be plotted here. Uh, what you see right now are the Kubernetes deployment and uh, stateful set and daemon set metrics that you see here. It's including the CPU utilization, the memory usage by each deployment and so on. But you can collect any data and plot it with Prometheus and Grafana. I'm also using a service called as Istio. It's a service mesh actually. And for the same application, a lot of application and service specific information is being collected 
and being plotted as well. Again, I'm refreshing by adding one more browser tab so that I generate more data, more traffic actually, and I can plot it on the service dashboard that I have created with Grafana that you see now on the screen. If you notice, this is this can be a good service level indicator dashboard for you because this is a microservices application. What you see uh, on the browser, what you saw on the browser was front end, but behind that there are multiple services. And what you see in this dashboard is the latency for each of the service, the number of requests, number of operations per second, and that is what is being plotted here. And this is a big picture overview of all my services for that application. It's an application called as Book Info. And this is for all the services, but I can actually go to a very specific service and plot the data for it as well. And I can see the success rate, uh, the latency, a number of requests, and you know, I can see the global request volume here. This is collective request across all my services. And since I'm generating uh, this traffic, using my browser tabs that I showed you earlier, these ones, I see the data being updated. Now I've just added one more browser tab to generate a little more data. And I have this refresh plugin, auto refresh plugin, so that the traffic is being generated automatically. And you should see the request counts going slightly up than earlier. You could also use this data to troubleshoot things, you know, and whenever you have a problem or when you see a problem with your system, you can also set alerts based on these metrics. Prometheus Grafana, this stack also has a service called as Alert Manager, which could, you know, trigger an alert and uh, that's what you will see on your phone when the metrics are breached. Mainly you set up the service level indicators, service level objectives, and if that is being breached, you want to get alerted. When there is a problem, major problem with your services, definitely you want to get alerted. And when you get alerted, you actually should be able to figure out where the problem is. And that is where these dashboards can be really, really handy. Yeah, this is just one more. This is the previous dashboard that I showed you earlier. And uh, what I'm going to do now is inject a fault, meaning I'm going to uh, add a latency for a particular service or just, uh, you know, uh, simulate a situation where let's say 40% of my traffic is being denied or it doesn't work. So there is an error or a fault where the connection is being aborted for 40% of the traffic. Now, all of this can be done via Istio. If you want to, you know, you know, test the resilience of your service, you can actually use Istio to create these kind of faults also. And which is very useful so that you can see the behavior of your application altogether. And uh, you could also see how, you know, um, the, uh, if the fault gets reflected in your monitoring system, whether your monitoring system is ready and uh, set up properly or not. You can, you know, trust all of this using this fault injection feature of Istio, which is a service mesh. Now you can see that for few requests, let's say four out of 10 requests, you're going to see an error where it, it, you know, it shows that rating service is not available. And I can also, I should be able to see that reflected here. So you can see that client success rate is being dropped. It's 92.6%. Earlier it was 90, uh, 100%. So from 96 to 92 to 90% now. And if, if I keep on monitoring it for some more time, the percentage is going to start dropping. Again, this is Again, a good example of uh, setting up a service level indicator, which is being breached now and it's gone down to 72%. So this is the time when you definitely need to have a look at the problem and you can further debug using, let's say the distributed tracing system, or you can go and check the logs for that service or services related to that. And you can also see how other services behave, whether they are tolerant or resilient to this fault or not, uh, and whether there are timeouts or retries or, you know, um, you, the, the right logic has been written or not. And you can test all of this using this observability 
system which is Prometheus and Grafana. And you can set up dashboards for various different metrics, various different services, various different components of your infrastructure as well as application stack. And that was a very quick demo of Prometheus and Grafana.